Yeah, so this is a company which I also have not just with Kriti, but a lot of people, a lot of my clients also who actually turn up with me for a consultation or who just join my program. They usually say that I'm eating fully healthy. I'm eating like kharka khana and this and that. But when I actually see their dietary recall, when I actually recall their diet and what they eat, 90% of the people Alright, what's up you guys, you're watching Zilocity and in this video, after a long time, we're back to doing another What I Eat in a Day review. And this time it's going to be Kriti Sanan's What I Eat in a Day. So, and before starting, a very humble request is please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you have not already because I keep posting such interesting videos and if this is interesting or not, let's find out. What do I have in breakfast actually now? I usually have... So breakfast में ऐसा होता है कि मैं एक चीज खाना शुरू करती हूँ तो मैं बहुत दिन तक वही खाती रहती हूँ। Like it's sunny outside, having कोहा या बोली कोहा। I might have like a peanut butter toast with like two boiled boiled eggs. Then I'll have that for like a long time till I get bored of it. Sometimes I have like oats, eggs, pancake or something, which is like a healthy version. So I keep rotating. But breakfast is my favorite meal. Lunch, dinner is. Okay, so first of all, starting off very strong. Two things mentioned, both of my favorites. One. Poha, everyone knows it's my favorite. Come on. And the second thing, boiled eggs and peanut butter toast. So boiled eggs is something which is a very fabulous protein source and a food source to consume for your breakfast. Very good breakfast option. Breakfast is not just rich in protein. Look, I don't tell you about the bias of protein. I'm not always biased towards the goddamn protein. Why I love eggs is also because of the fact that it is one, it contains a lot of vitamin B12, which you don't get from other vegetarian sources or any sources, preferably. Like you get it only in meat and organs and a lot of people don't eat meat and organs, right? So eggs become pretty much the best source. And that too, with the yolk, never have the eggs without the yolk. So if anyone tells you that yolk ke bina egg khao, kyunki yolk mein to fat hai, cholesterol hai, please, come on. It's okay to consume yolks, okay? And as long as you're not overdoing only eggs in the entire day just in the end of 15-20 eggs and that too if you're eating it within your calorie limit it's actually fine so 2-3 whole eggs in a day is not going to be a problem at all in fact even 5 whole eggs a day is absolutely fine anyway so number 1 is the vitamin B12 number 2 is the iron then there's a lot of vitamin A there's a lot of potassium so there's a lot there's lots of good stuff in it so what's not to like about the egg and she eats pretty much the same breakfast like ek bar start kiya to kuch din ho to bhai chalta hai it's pretty much the same with me so sometimes if i do pancakes at home i do ragi pancakes and uh, sometimes if i do that i've actually made a video on my healthy breakfast ideas recently it was a very recent video i am very sure that you will like it video so watch it here so yeah i can definitely relate pro max with kriti sanan here it's almost similar i think i like having favorite meal lunch dinner is almost similar i think I like having uh, vegetarian at least once a day, so it could be anything. I like karka khana. So I like, you know, whether it's roti or shawal with like some dal, sabzi, or like a chicken curry or, uh, you know, uh, mutton curry or something. So it depends. I rotate in that. There are some times when I don't want to, or if I want to kind of lose a little weight or like that little fat that comes on your stomach and you have some short coming up, then I reduce carbs in my meal. Okay, so lunch, again, it's pretty simple. So she makes sure that she eats her regular roti sabji and chawal dal and at the, at the same time she also enjoys her chicken curry, mutton curry. Obviously nothing to complain here, it's pretty much what I love to do as well. I love chicken curries, I love dal rice. So anything that you like having and something which is very simple and something which is very homely, the feeling of the feeling is simple comfort food. Just immediately my comfort food is like dal rice and chicken curry. Like my go-to comfort food is that. So as long as you're actually including that and as long as you have a good amount of protein, good amount of complex carbs and you also add a side of curd and uh, some veggies, raw veggies, salad, just like cucumber, apna uh, khira, gajar wala salad, yeah, simple, wo laga do, it's like done. 10 on 10, good meal. Perfect. There are some times when I don't want to, or if I want to kind of lose a little weight or like that little fat that comes on your stomach and you have some short coming up, then I reduce carbs in my meal. So, dinner ke time pe she reduces her carbs a little bit when she wants to lose weight for a shoot or for a movie prep what's what I'm guessing so basically she cuts down a little bit of carbs for dinner so I think she goes for she didn't exactly mention what she eats in such dinners where she eats low carb I think it's gonna be something like grilled paneer grilled tofu chicken or fish or something like that right so 
I think she mentioned that she eats chicken curry and mutton curry for her lunch. So I'm very sure she eats a variety of uh, different different sources of food. So yeah, that's just an assumption, though. She hasn't really spoken about it. A lot. Um, I mean, if I'm working, then it's a different thing. Then you can't really count. It depends on your day. But I like sleeping a lot, so I like sleeping at least eight hours. Uh, so if, if I don't have work, then I sleep for eight hours easily. Sometimes I can go nine, ten hours. Wow. Okay. So you need to get eight hours of sleep. You know what? Like there are people who can survive with four hours of sleep. Some people actually glamorize it. मैं तो सिर्फ चार घंटे सोती हूँ मेरे तो दिन में बहुत एनर्जी होती है. It might be working well for you for now, but you know what happens in the long run? It actually destroys your hormones. Okay, so th- the main reason why आजकल देखो PCOS का prevalence, thyroid problems का prevalence इतना ज़्यादा हो गया है. So all of these problems start happening because you don't get enough sleep, you don't get enough quality sleep, you don't get enough quality nutrients in your diet. So all of these things accumulate over time, and आपको अभी शायद आपको कोई खराब symptom नहीं दिख रहा होगा आपकी health में, but still moving on like. the five, ten years down the line, you might start developing some serious issues with your health and metabolic disorders. So, if you want to avoid such health problems and if you really want to get the best of your health, then eight hours of sleep is good. Seven hours of sleep is also good, not bad, but eight is like the sweet spot where your body gets a good amount of time to recover, to rest properly, and din bhar ki bhagam gaadi ya workout kiya uska stress to generate hota body pe to recover from that. Eight hours is the sweet spot. I try to, but I don't, and that's a complaint that my mom has. Yeah, so this is a complaint which I also have, not just with Kriti, but a lot of people, a lot of my clients also who actually turn up with me for a consultation or who just join my program. They usually say that I'm eating fully healthy, I'm eating like ghar ka khana and this and that. But when I actually see their dietary recall, when I actually recall their diet and what they eat. 90 percent से भी ज़्यादा लोग fruits regularly consume नहीं करते, and this is something. एक शिकायत है मेरी सब के लिए क्योंकि फ्रूट्स अगर आप डेली इंक्लूड नहीं कर रहे हो मिसिंग आउट ऑन लॉट ऑफ गुड थिंग्स दैट कम विद द फ्रूट सो फ्रूट का एक तो है कि ऑब्वियसली यू विल हैव दैट शुगर क्रेविंग का फिक्स बिकॉज इट्स स्वीट राइट इट्स नेचर कैंडी एंड सेकंड थिंग इज दट इट कंटेन्स लॉट ऑफ फाइबर डाइजेस्टिव फाइबर जो आपके लिए आपके डाइजेशन हेल्थ के लिए आपके ओवरऑल मेटाबोलिक हेल्थ के लिए काफी बेनिफिशियल है एंड अनदर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज द माइक्रो न्यूट्रिय आपको वाइटमिन एंड मिनरल्स की क्वांटिटी जो फ्रूट्स में मिलती है इट्स pretty good it's pretty good you get a lot of vitamin c you get a lot of vitamin a from a lot of fruits so include a variety of fruits assorted fruits fruit bowl every like at least once a day if not two servings of fruit a day and you can just rotating keep rotating your fruits every day right so aaj ho gaya aaj pomegranate and muskmelon tomorrow it could it could be banana and mango something like that right so you could keep alternating your fruits and it's always good to include fruit every day okay Vegetables, I like India a lot. I like. Uh, I also like gobi. I know aloo is not really considered vegetable, but I like. <laughs> yeah. So at least she knows her facts, right? So aloo is not considered a vegetable, but for everyone, aloo is favorite. Hota hai. Indians' ka favorite vegetable, aloo. Sabse favorite sabji kya hai apki khane ke liye? Aloo, aloo fry, aloo gobi, aloo matar. Aloo is actually technically a starch source, so it should be replaced and considered somewhere in the lines of roti and chawal because that's also starchy and aloo is also starchy. So, just say what I usually do is when I have my rice, just a chicken and rice ke jagah pe, what I do is sometimes I replace that rice with mashed potatoes. So, I do grilled chicken and mashed potatoes with sauteed veggies. So, that's another meal which I like a lot. Ghee, I really like ghee. Um. I think ghee is very, very uh, uh, good for body as well. I think we stop having ghee. I don't know if it's any olive oil or something like that. But uh, <laughs> ghee is very, very beneficial for your bones, for your skin, for everything. In fact, these days I started having ghee coffee in the morning, which is uh, uh. black coffee and a spoon of ghee in it, blended together. So I start my day with that nowadays. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, she has her ghee coffee. Bullet coffee is what. Keto people would like to call it, but yeah, so it's not bad. You can absolutely, you can, you can absolutely do that. And ghee, yes, first thing in the morning, ghee actually helps with energy levels, and it also helps with your digestion. It's actually really good, right? So ghee is one of the things. And what she said was so right. कि आजकल लोग घी के जगह पे olive oil and this and that पे चले गए हैं. Well, see, I'm not complaining about that. Okay, I'm. I'm definitely game. Okay, आपको olive oil consume करना है. It's very healthy. Yes, all that is good. But ghee is also a very healthy. 
uh, food source or fat source which should be included in your daily routine obviously don't overdo ghee thinking that oh, wow ghee is healthy ghee khao ghee upar se ghee mein banao fir ghee upar se dal chawal pe bhi dalo then har rotiyon pe bhi ghee dabake ke dalo that's not healthy right moderation okay so you have to consume things in moderation but still when you talk about ghee it's actually a great thing to use for cooking and since she also mentioned that aajkal jaise log zyada olive oil pe focus karne lag gaye zyada health ke liye ghee is also very healthy so you can actually consume ghee in moderation similarly like olive oil bhi agar aap consume karte ho you have to consume it in moderation it's absolutely good but ghee is one thing which is like the the best thing which everyone must include in their routine for especially for cooking meals it's very high temperature stable as well it's very it's very heat stable and it definitely tastes much better than other oils i would say personal preference Uh, both. I'm more of a person now, but there are times when you're tired and you come home and or you want a, a nice Elijah Richard. <laughs> so okay, okay. I so this is one thing where I relate a lot with Kriti on this. Okay, so I think uh, I am also a tea and coffee person. Both. Sometimes I have phases where I love coffee more. Sometimes I have phases where I love chai more. But yeah. The ginger chai yeah, elaichi so sometimes it's just it's just what you need to get yourself going man like the ginger or elaichi chai i totally relate with that actually i like you really um i am not allergic to gluten so it's not something that i know it's so like i like almond soft you know really with like a little unit See, this is one thing where a lot of people are actually misled and a lot of people think ki gayu roti नहीं खाना चाहिए आपको बस नाचनी रोटी रागी रोटी या जवर रोटी खानी चाहिए एंड गेव रोटी इज नॉट हेल्दी एंड इट हैज ग्लूटेन नो माय गॉड ग्लूटेन किल मी नो सो यू डोंट हैव टू ईट रागी रोटी स्पेसिफिकली और जवर रोटी इंस्टेड ऑफ द गेव रोटी इफ यू आर नॉट एलजी टू ग्लूटेन ओके अगर आपको ग्लूटेन से कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है डाइजेशन से कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है देन आपको जबरदस्ती ग्लूटेन की आप गेहूँ की रोटी छोड़ के रागी रोटी खाने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है वेल डेफिनेटली रागी रोटी जवर रोटी दीज आर मिलेट्स विच आर हायर इन द प्रोटीन कंटेंट हायर इन योर फाइवर कंटेंट हायर इन ओवरऑल माइक्रो न्यूट्रीन ऑल्सो बट नॉट दैट डिफरेंट यू आर कम ऑन हार्डली पांच दस परसेंट का फर्क आता है इन टर्म्स ऑफ फाइवर एंड प्रोटीन सो कम ऑन स्टॉप इट हैव यू रेगुलर गॉड डैम रोटी इफ यू हैव If you have no digestion problems or if you have no gluten issues, then you can consume our normal gehu roti. I'm glad someone said this. Wow! Why did I not review Kriti Sanan's diet before? I don't know if you did. I think because I have a regular diet. Um, yeah, when I am sort of on a diet, certain kind of roll or something like that, I do action and I have like my stomach pain and everything. Then I'm on a diet. Um, but uh, otherwise, I kind of. उट इंटेंसिटी I burn like three thousand calories and some of maintenance. So I, I actually try to eat a lot, but still I can't get to that level sometimes because I eat mindfully and I can't just consume a lot of food. Anyway, so yeah, all right. So this was it for the video. All in all, I actually liked whatever she mentioned. I could relate a lot with her, and this is something where she's actually educated herself a lot about like sustainable nutrition, and she eats pretty much healthy. She. knows how to live mindfully and obviously she's spoken about cheat days and she doesn't really like seem to binge a lot on outside food so i'm 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 sure she definitely understood what works for her body obviously the kind of genetics that you have and the kind of workout routine also dictates how you how much you can actually eat and get away with since i mentioned that so um i think for her body type and like the kind of lifestyle that she, that she lives she's doing a great job so all in all Kudos I like it and if you actually like this video then you know what to do hit the like button share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified whenever I post videos like this interesting videos which you might like and find a lot of helpful helpful and insightful content about 
I would love it. If you could do that, I would be very grateful. And this is my Instagram. If you want to check out my Instagram to join my transformation programs, or I've also launched a new eight-week strength program, which is focused on fast, quick fat loss in the healthy way, obviously. So you can join the program. There's a limited discount also running on our transformation programs and the eight-week strength program. So check out my Instagram here, or you can actually check out the website that we have below. You will find contact options on my website as well. So. Thank you again for watching this video. Stay tuned for more interesting content coming up soon on my channel and I will see you in the next video.